who's ready for another Music Magpie unboxing. One thing about living in Santa Carla I never could stomach. All the damn vampires. So we're back today for another Music Magpie unboxing. Two DVDs, three pounds. Can't go wrong. I know what one of these is. But I can't remember the other one that I've on. Okay, so the first DVD is... Is it the one I remember or the one I forgot? It's the one I forgot. The Mummy, starring Tom Cruise. This also has in Russell Crowe. And the woman who plays the mummy is Sofia Butella. I think I've pronounced that right. So what I remember about this movie is that Tom Cruise is basically in London. The mummy's coming out and she's trying to take over the world as your mummies do. The other mummy film that's uh, Brendan Fraser. It's that's a good movie. But I remember this, I remember this one is action packed. Set in London, as you can see there at the bottom, if I can get some less shine on it. I can't remember what year this was out. It was out in. No, can't see it on the DVD. Check the DVD, there it is inside. Nice DVD there. Tom Cruise on. Obviously Egypt, where mummies come from. All mummies come must come from the Middle East somewhere, Egypt. I remember that being a really good movie. And I'll probably give this one, I'm sure it was like a 7 out of 10 movie. That's really good. I'm sure the first time I watched this was on a plane, going abroad somewhere. Yeah, really good. Please meet Princess Amanat. She will claim that she has been denied. So this is the movie that I really wanted, that I really searched for. And obviously it's two for three pounds, so you always look for the other one. So the mummy was just to make it up to three pounds. So you might as well order two, you know what I mean? And this, let's hope they've sent the right one. This one is San Andreas, starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson. So in this movie, Dwayne The Rock Johnson is a rescue helicopter pilot. He lives in San, San Andreas, Los Angeles, somewhere around that area. And the San Andreas Fault goes off with a nine plus earthquake, which is meant to happen, I think it's meant to happen every like hundred, like oh, just hundred years. I'm sure in real life it's like 50 years overdue. So look out for that in 2020 this year. So everyone will think everything's going all right, then bang, the real life earthquake could happen in 2020, I think. And special effects in this are brilliant. The CGI is excellent. All your buildings crashing into each other. You've got a huge tsunami that comes over and Dwayne The Rock Johnson's riding his boat up the tsunami. So Dwayne The Rock Johnson, he's in Los Angeles with his wife. His daughter's in San Francisco. The earthquake goes off. He has a race against time to go and save his daughter beating all these obstacles in the way. He's got to go and save his wife. His wife's on the top of a building that's fallen over. Carrie Minogue was really in the building. He picks her up off the building, saves her life. Yeah, it's really excellent, this movie. Ah. It's got a really good front box. All the buildings on fire, him and his helicopter. The back's really good. Showing some really good scenes from the movie. Then they put that disc in. Like, why didn't they have on the disc just a print of the tsunami or something? With the boat going up, something like that. But we'll let them off as that is a great movie. So anyone that knows me knows that I, I kind of love natural disaster movies. Movies that involve nature, the world, snow and rivers, tidal waves, tsunamis. I've got a few up here. I've got... Armageddon, big meteor, that's a good one. Sunshine, 
I did have the core somewhere, I don't know where that's gone now. I also have Volcano. I love all these movies. But the best one, still by far, is The Day After Tomorrow. I love that movie. So San Andreas is going to go alongside them. I mean, natural disaster movies. I still need to get things like I had on VHS, like Twister, The River Wild, movies like that. Also watched Deep Impact the other day, which I'm sure that came out the same year as Armageddon. Armageddon seemed to catapult ahead of Deep Impact, but Deep Impact's still a good movie. So the big question is, is does San Andreas go up with those movies, Day After Tomorrow, Volcano, Armageddon, Sunshine, or does it go with the Dwayne The Rock Johnson movies, which is here, Walking Tall, Welcome to the Jungle, Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. There's some work getting done next door, I don't know if you can hear that. I think I'll have to go with the Dwayne The Rock Johnson series. You'll have to go with Tom Cruise. I don't know where Tom Cruise is. Got Jack Reacher there. Don't know what other ones I've got. Let us have a quick look. So to my other dismay, I've only actually got three Tom Cruise movies. And that includes The Mummy, which I've just got. Jack Reacher, which I said before. And War of the Worlds. That's all I've got. Probably thinking, where's Top Gun? I'm thinking the same thing. I'm definitely going to have to up my Tom Cruise game. Get some more. Days of Thunder? Why have I not got Days of Thunder? Disgraceful. Love that part of the movie. Thanks for watching. It's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from him. This is for the love of movies. Like, share, and subscribe. Zoom. 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 Shall I try it with some real sound effects? <laughs>